Hit that subscribe button and bell icon so you never miss an update from Neela Bakore Tutorials. In this video, we'll discuss about another phylum of animal kingdom and that is Tinophora. The meaning of these two words, Pini and the Fora, they are taken from the Greek language and they mean comb bearing. So that is why they are commonly known as sea walnuts and comb jellies. Now sea walnut is because they are exclusively marine that means there is no fresh water member, so they are always marine and the shape is walnut like, so sea walnut. And comb, because just now I told you that this means comb plate or comb bearing, so comb jellies. Jellies because the body is jelly like, more or less transparent. This is, uh, or these are the names given, keeping in mind their special features. They are radially symmetrical or they show radial symmetry they are diploblastic but some scientists believe that they are triploblastic because in them when we come to the actual structure we find that there are some special layers which are there but most of them believe that these are diploblastic so that's why we'll write the most common uh, perception that the scientists have so diploblastic, we have written some basic things, radial symmetry is there. Now their body wall is made up of two layers as we have talked of in the previous phylum that is cylindrica. So body wall has two layers, the outer layer and the inner layer. The outer layer is the epidermis and this epidermis also has two layers. So here also we will have the outer layer or outer cells and the inner cells. Outer cells, they would make the outermost cover of the body and the cells which are here, they are sensory, they would secrete mucus. So mucus secretory cells and special cells which are present in specific areas like tentacles. Those cells are known as coloblasts and these cells they are adhesive that means they help in capturing of food so they help in capturing of food so these would be found only on tentacles not on the rest of the body but that is only the outer one the inner epidermis has some cells which are called myo epithelial cells and they function like muscles function like muscles they are not muscular cells they are epidermal cells but they function that means they must be doing contraction so that's why they are called myoepithelial and there are some which are uh, the nervous one Nervous system is not very well developed. There are sensory fibers which are there. So some cells, they help in this conduction. So they must be acting as nervous cells. So this is the outer one. The inner one we'll talk about in a minute after we draw the diagram. The most common shape is like this. And here, this is the opening that is mouth. Mouth leads into a muscular pharynx. So this is the pharynx part. Pharynx opens into a stomach part and then there is this again tube which opens out through the anal opening. So this is the anus, this is the muscular pharynx and this is the stomach. The layer which we have drawn, this outer one is the epidermis. 
which we have just talked off that it has outer as well as the inner cells. Now we are talking about the inner layer. Inner layer is nothing but the layer which is lining this digestive tract or we can also call it gastrodermis. So this inner one is actually gastrodermis. But this gastrodermis layer also produces some canals. So here from the stomach there would be a canal and these canals would be going to <coughs> sorry, various structures. For example, if we are talking about this comb jelly name, that means they have comb plates. So there are eight comb plates which they have and these comb plates are nothing but a comb canal around which there are cilia and these cilia help in locomotion. So these structures are cilia. We will talk about these cilia also in some time. So we are talking about this gastrodermis. This gastrodermis gives rise to some canals and these canals they go to various parts. So this is a comb canal. This red thing which we have drawn this is the comb canal and all along this comb canal there would be these cilia which would be there. And if we see from outside, we find that this is the comb canal and on either side there are these cilia which are there. That means from the gastrodermis there are cells which are present in this lining. So these canals, they actually go and join the other canals. This is comb canal. Suppose here we draw a tentacle. So this is a tentacle that we are drawing and the canal will go and supply into this tentacle also. So from here gastrodermis also gives rise to canals and the cells of these canals are again different. The inner cells, inner means the ones which are towards the digestive system and the outer cells. The outer cells are towards the outer side that is towards the body wall. The inner cells, they are long, they can act as storage cells, they can act as germ cells, that means they would produce gonads and there are some special cells which are called the photocells and because of this they show bioluminescence. This is again a characteristic feature of the members which belong to tenophora. Now coming to the cilia. Tenophorans, that means these members or these animals, they are the largest animals to locomote or to swim with cilia. Normally, cilia are the structures which are locomotive structures in lower animals or lower organisms. These are the largest animals which are swimming with the help of these cilia. And the cilia show 9 plus 3 arrangement. So this is again very unique. So there are so many different different layers which are present. And that's why I said some scientists believe that probably these are triploblastic. This part, this that means the material or the tissue which is between the two layers, epidermis and gastrodermis is known as mesoglia. So this is the structure. They are hermaphrodites. Most of them are hermaphrodites and they exhibit only sexual reproduction. Only sexual reproduction is reported in tenophorans. So they are much more advanced as compared to the previous two phylums that is poriferans and cylindrates. But 
not that developed as we will take up in the next phylums. So this is the Tenophora phylum. Very few members, very few species have been reported so far. And the body is jelly-like. The important things which we have to remember is this, that they have eight comb plates. They show bioluminescence. They are the largest animals which swim with the help of cilia. And cilia shows 9 plus 3 arrangement. And then these coloblast cells which are adhesive cells. These adhesive cells are present normally on the tentacles. So this is the information that we normally talk of when we talk of the phylum Tino.